good day to all of you welcome to odl session this is indian economy class week 8 lecture 1 i am dr s chandrachur professor in ed department of economics today's topic is monetary policy let us get into the class what are all the topic today we are going to discuss is totally three number 1 monetary policy what is the meaning of it number 2 what is the definition of it number 3 what are all the objectives of monetary policy these three topics are to be covered today first of all we should know the government has two macro policies one is fiscal policy another one is monetary policy the fiscal policy related with the direct and indirect taxes and the other side is the spending from the household industry and the government this is one side the other side the monetary policy the main two concepts are we have to bother about the money supply and the interest the interest rate it may be repo rate of bank or it may be uh, interest rate of bank or what is the return on capital all these things will be covered in this particular thing let me introduce the monetary policy there are five points that we should keep in mind why because it is a very powerful instrument for economic management why because the government takes various steps to promote economic development through the monetary policy only why they are giving more importance because the monetary policy influences the supply of money which in turn the credit policy based on these money supply and credit policy only the rate of interest we can calculate or we can regulate once it gives importance for rate of interest credit policy and supply of money automatically it has a control over the banking system that is why the monetary policy regulates the banking system so as to meet the credit need of the economy finally it creates a favorable environment for both uh, saving side as well as the investment side that is why the monetary policy gains its importance now let us understand what monetary policy is so let me give what is the meaning of monetary policy monetary policy refers to the steps taken by the reserve bank of india to regulate the cost and supply of money of course which in turn uh, the credit in order to achieve the socio economic objective of the economy so understand one thing monetary policy is implemented by reserve bank of india that is central bank of india why they have to regulate not only the cost but also the supply of money which in turn the credit policy for that the rbi is implementing the monetary policy in order to achieve the main objective what is that the socio economic achievement the monetary policy influences the supply of money and the cost of money or the rate of interest all these things based on one factor called money it may be demand for money it may be a supply of money but these two have the equilibrium that we should know what is the available money in the economy it may be coins it may be notes it may be deposit with the bank it may be with a foreign deposit everything will be included in this so before get into the definition of monetary policy first understand you should keep three points in our mind monetary policy is a macro policy which is implemented by the central bank of india that is reserve bank of india why it is implementing in order to achieve the socio economic objectives what are the, the key factors the cost and supply of money of course the credit policy in turn the rate of interest so these are all the technical words that we should keep in mind before enter into the Uh, elaborate uh, explanation for the monetary policy now i want to give 
two definition for Montelli biology. You can uh, expect one section A question in your semester and examination. There are n number of uh, definitions are there, but I have given the best two. One by Professor Harry Johnson. The other one is A.G. Art. First, I will define the definition given by Harry Johnson. Your policy employing the central bank's control of supply of money as an instrument for achieving the objective of general economic policy is a monetary policy. Very simple words. Same way, uh, many authors have defined this. This particular definition is in practice. One more definition for monetary policy given by A.J. Hurt, according to him, a policy which influences the public stock of money, substitute of public demand for such assets of both, both in the sense policy which influences the public liquidity portion and of course the policy related to stock of money. These two is known as monetary policy. Now, let us move to the last part of the uh, session that is objectives of monetary policy. Once we should know why it is implemented and you should understand the definition of monetary policy. The main part of uh, introduction to monetary policy, you should know what are all the objectives. There are many objectives for the uh, better answering purpose in section B. I have given 10 to 11 points. These are all the objectives. Number one, to have a rapid economic growth. That is the first objective. We have to maintain the price stability in an economy. That is the second objective. The third objective is how to maintain the exchange rate stability. For that, we need monetary policy. The instrument of monetary policy is very useful. The fourth one, we have to get a favorable balance of payment and we have to try to achieve the equilibrium in BOP. The fourth one, we try to move towards the full employment and we have to maintain the neutrality of money. The seventh objective is how to reach the equal income distribution, how to make it. For that, we are using the instruments of monetary policy. And this is the best tool in order to control the business cycle. So, one of the main objective of monetary policy is to control the business cycle. Then the next objective is in order to promote export and substitute the import goods because this will help the economy to improve because export uh, reduction and import substitution is the best policy to improve the economy. And last but not the least, the purpose of the monetary policy is to increase the standard of living of the public. For that, we should understand the economic situation, how to control both extremes. One side is inflation, other one is deflation. Too much of money chasing too few goods is inflation. And very less money, but to too many goods is deflation. So, in both the situation, how we can implement the monetary uh, methods to control and to reach the uh, economy in a proper way. This is a list of objective. Now, I want to give what is the primary objective of a monetary policy. There are many uh, objectives are there, but the central government always concentrate with these five. The rest of the things are secondary objective. Out of list of objective, what are the primary objective? First one, how to control the inflationary situation and how to improve the economic growth. The third one, how to maintain the price stability. The fourth one, how to reduce the unemployment. And fifth one, how to regulate currency exchange rates. Then finally, how to achieve the social welfare. So all these things, the monetary policy is taking as a primary objective to control inflation, to achieve the 
economic growth, to maintain the stability, to reduce the unemployment, to regulate the currency exchange rate and to achieve the social welfare. These are the primary objectives. So, this out of this primary objective, the topmost objective is the price stability because that is the key factor for the development as well as the growth of an economy. Because the price stability is a goal attained when the general price level of domestic economy remains as low and stable as possible in order to foster the sustainable economic growth. So, even though there are six primary objectives, out of six, the monetary policies uh, target is to maintain the stability. And the next one, whenever there is an inflationary situation, the central bank will take both monetary and uh, non-monetary measures in order to control the inflation. And uh, next one is the economic growth. In recent years, the economic development has gained a significant attention from the politician as well as uh, leading economists uh, across the world because utilizing the human power, natural power and other resources is also necessary if we want to raise the per capita income of the nation. So for that monetary policy is required. The, major, the majority of time on the nation's economy is determined by its per capita income only. This is one of the elements of the national income. The another important goal of monetary policy is to enhance the per capita income. This per capita income and economic growth are interrelated because it is necessary. We have to, if we want to boost the uh, nation's economy, we have to improve the per capita income, which in turn will improve the economic growth. And the fifth uh, primary objective is interest rate stability. This is an important objective because an unstable interest rate environment would hinder the uh, credit growth and which in turn will reduce the ability of the economy to attain the full employment level. Therefore, it is essential for the Reserve Bank of India to be a consistent and stable with the setting the policy rate, especially interest rate stability is inevitable. Even the bank have to maintain the repo rate. Why? Because that will uh, result in the economic development. If there is no stability, there will be a, a zigzag growth in the economy. With this, I am completing the class.